Welcome, Welcome to, to Sis, Sis Use. Use. We are two sisters with issues and a need to work them out, and we're inviting you along for the ride. Here we are taking the big things we have in common. Our love for Outlander, inappropriate humor, and why people do the things they do. Mix this up with our dirty lady mo's, and this podcast is born. But don't worry, we'll explore other issues too. Because you know... When, When you, you have, have sisters, sisters, you have, have issues. issues. If you are easily offended or don't appreciate the creative use of colorful Canadian cursive language, this is not the podcast for you. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to Sis Use. I'm Phil. Hi, I am Cher. Oh, and we're back to season two of Outlander Rewatch just because this Outlander is killing me. Oh, my God. Um, and then uh, we're going to be watching episode eight today, The Fox Lair. Foxes Lair. Foxes fox Lair. 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 <laughs> Alrighty, so make sure that you guys are skipping your recap, just as we normally do in every podcast, and go directly uh, to the theme song. And this share. Oh, we'll catch you down. Perfect. Um, when I get to one, that's when y'all gonna hit play. Okay? Guys. Three, two, one. Alrighty then. Here they go. Bear. Gotta love Bear and his music. Yes, gotta love him. Mm -hmm. Wonder what's on that radio. You know what's on that radio? I don't know. I don't what's know on. what's on that radio. You uh, know what? I bet you some kind of talk thingy. You think? Well, talk radio? Yeah, I love talk radio, though. I used to love talk radio. That's what I used to listen to all the time when I was traveling back and forth to parties. There's talk radio, something that chill me out. Or And then I started listening to the audiobooks. Yeah, so, so you got me hooked on the audiobooks. Before mm -hmm. that, I used to do a lot of driving, and I yeah. love talk radio. Mm -hmm. The worst thing about the audiobooks when you're driving, though, is when you get to, like, really sad parts and you're driving your car and you're crying. I was going to a – I was coming home from a party once that was, like, way far away. So it was, like, a two-hour drive. Yeah. And I'm driving in my car and the print shop is being read. And I started sobbing. I had to pull <laughs> over on the highway and I've got my hazards on and I'm sobbing on the side of the highway and doesn't an RCMP officer pull up his cruiser behind me and gets out and he wraps up my window and I'm like tears are flowing down my face and he's like are you okay ma'am and I was like I was, I was, the JV in the print shop I was my listening to my book <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh my god! Yeah, so that was that was a fun. I even tweeted Diana about it, and and yeah, it was funny. We had a little exchange on Twitter, and that yeah. is freaking hilarious. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god! That's back when back in the good old days when I was slinging dildos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and he was just like, okay, compose yourself before you before you head back onto the highway. <laughs> like, I, I, I will. <laughs> oh, too funny. Oh, well, they're back in Scotland now, and I'm telling you, you don't get potatoes like that in the grocery store. You know, them nope. some them some fine looking potatoes. And I really want to make that shawl she's wearing. Dang, I need to find a a pattern for that. Oh, I tell you, we've got some, we got some of bootlander ladies that do some fine knitting and uh, they've made some of those. I would love to see one that someone has actually made, like that has found a pattern that's, you know, like close to it. Cause I love how she always has it belted. I uh -huh. love that. Yeah. I love how she wants to grind it like parrots. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That dig all the starch out of them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, 
Too All funny. the ways you can make a taters and vodka. Yeah. Bitches make vodka out of the taters. What? Yeah, potato vodka. You've never heard of it? Sister, I don't drink. What the hell do I know about vodka? <laughs> Only that yeah, it has no taste and it's good when you're drunk. <laughs> oh, no. It, you, it t- you can taste vodka, believe me. Uh, it, you, you can't smell it on your breath as bad as you can smell other alcohols. I think that's where that comes from. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. But oh, look at all the goodies they have from Jared. French novels. Mm-hmm. Uh oh! What? Whoa! <laughs> he looks so muscular standing in the window. Sorry. Dang it! That mofo. You know what? They were happy for all of like two and a half minutes mm-hmm. back in Scotland, and then wham, wham, bam! Thank you, Bonnie Prince. Stupid. Exactly. <clears throat> Jeez. <sighs> Just when he thought, you know, he was safe, Mm -hmm. he was pardoned, he could come Mm -hmm. home, start a life, you know, get over losing poor faith, and then boom, we're back into it. Boom, shang a a ding dong Yeah, thank you, writers. Yep. (laughs) Couldn't even give us five minutes of bliss. No. Uh Uh-uh. Nope, couldn't do it. No. But hey. But again, back yep. for treason, right? Yep. Just when you're out, you're back in. Yep. Once a traitor, always, always a traitor. A tra- poor Jamie. <laughs> Aw, now I feel bad for him. Uh, you back always have to-, to feel bad for him. I know. I, I like this picture right here. This is a I nice do. picture. This is Although the really wind nice could have worked for us a little bit more in that particular uh-huh. scene. Yes. But you know what? I love that jacket that he wears, and it makes me mm-hmm. so sad as the seasons go on, the more tattered, and then mm-hmm. it just disappears, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love this jacket. Yeah. I wonder who has this jacket now and where I can fetch it from. <laughs> <laughs> Probably hanging up in the... Oh, oh, it's breezy. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Ah, it's damn it. Crazy. Why are they so careful? I don't know. Like, geez, people. Yeah. I know. You know what? Hey, we're middle-aged women. We can, we've earned the right. To be perverts. Yeah. Well, you know thank you, mom. We spent, <laughs> we spent our teens. Well, no, we spent our childhood. Yeah. Our teens and mm-hmm. our early twenties being objectified, touched, inappropriately looked at inappropriately spoken to inappropriately by men so you know what fuck you i'm gonna talk about a man in his kilt yeah exactly payback's a bitch and so will i be but you're not you're sweetie no i i I can be cunty if i want to (laughs) well i think that's our our right if we Mm -hmm. want to it's called and it's not even being that way it's just expressing what you're thinking that's right some people call it cunty i call it sherry (laughs) (laughs) it it, it surprises me that he is so willing to knowing what's going to happen that he wants to he wants to fight yeah you know what i mean Mm mm-hmm he knows yeah. at this point there's nothing else he can do. So yeah, let's try and make him win. Join. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like maybe let, we okay, can. It's gonna happen. So you know, we thought so hard that we could change things back then. Why mm-hmm. do we think we still couldn't change it and win instead? Right. But you can see it on her face all day long. Yeah. She doesn't buy it. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. And she knows. And she's like, I'm going. And and that's something that I like about, I like, like we always make fun of her yeah. because, you know, he's like, I'm going to protect you. You're going to stay here. And she's like, Mm-mm, I'm going. Yeah. And, and he, he gets that about her, you yeah. know, he gets, because he's told her, sit there, stay there. <laughs> and she's like, unless she has a task to do like take care of other people to you know like doctor them or whatever she's gonna do she's not sitting back she's going like she'd go to the front lines with him if she knew she had a job to do there yeah exactly 
Yeah. It reminds me of the times where, you know, people would say to Andrew in the military, you know, control your wife, do something oh. about your wife. And Andrew would be like, <laughs> you met her? <laughs> yeah. You, if you think you can control her, you go, you go right ahead and you try that. Dealing with yeah. the absolute wrong family. The one thing that us girls, you know, inherited from our mother is mm -hmm. be strong and speak your truth. Yep. You know, she physically was not the strongest woman because of her health, but man, uh -huh. she was a strong, independent woman. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you know what? I'm thankful for that. You yeah. know, I'm thankful that if I, I wanted to, I could roam this earth by myself, be happy, be confident, be successful, whatever successful looks to you. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I want to have my husband in my life. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah, Jenny, I love yeah. Jenny. I love Such Jenny a too. Fire, just the look on her face. You know, you can read everything in just the look of her mm -hmm. face. I yeah. find her and her and Katrina are the same that way. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and I think that's just uh, the talent of a great actor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't have to. You know, they don't have to say any words. No. Uh, is yeah. she Scottish? I believe she is. Laura Donnelly? I believe she is. Yeah, that's one thing I didn't... I forgot to look that up. I, I really believe she is because she went to... Uh, she went to drama school with Sam Hewen, so... The same school? I'm yeah. I'm pretty sure they went hmm. to the same school. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice to see so many of them that, you know, went to the same kind of performing arts and are doing so well. Must be a really good school. Mm -hmm. Anybody out there that's looking to do performing arts, I would suggest going to Scotland because, man, they're turning them out left, right, and center. Actually, she's Northern Irish. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. wow. Mm hmm I love how, you know, you know you're back in time when someone apologizes for you know, <laughs> having a bastard father. <laughs> right? Yeah. And thinks it's a big deal. It, it is a big deal for him, mm -hmm. right? And for yeah. her, it's like, what? Uh, okay. Who well, cares? Whatever. Uh -huh. Just get to rub up against you. Mm -hmm. This scene, I think, is one of the most sexiest scenes, and it has nothing to do with intercourse. Mm -hmm. I... Yeah. I just think this, this upcoming scene is amazing. Yeah. And no matter what the gender, you're thinking, oh, dang. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a nice lift. That's almost like a dance. Right? Right here, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, and the fact that she still has her corset on. Mm -hmm. And when he talks about her round arse, mm -hmm. there you go. There it's right it there. is. Yeah. Let's call it apple bottom. Apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur. The whole uh, club's looking at Phyllis, her. Phyllis. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, put the brakes on that. <laughs> uh, I have that song on my uh, on my phone somewhere. Put oh, on there a long, long time ago. This scene that's coming up in the books was one that made me cry. Like the reading of it was yes. just so beautiful yeah. and yeah just the things that jenny said to uh claire and but it was it was just the sweetest thing and they brought it together so nicely here yeah and the Jamie is so good with babies and so good with children. Doesn't well, it for this break? one, not, not not so much in season four. <laughs> no, no, but you know, they, did, in, they they had a hard time getting them to settle with him. <laughs> well, that that you know, that's that's different. That's uh, Sam, right? Right. Yeah. But oh, doesn't Jamie. it break yeah. your heart that Jamie never got to raise a baby? Like that's, yeah, that makes me yeah. so sad after seeing him with the baby like this, like this baby must be like 
zoned right out and <laughs> sleeping for uh-huh. Sam to be able right. to hold it. <laughs> and this is this is the only scene I've seen him with a baby mm-hmm. um, where he's it looks comfortable in his arms. Right. The only right. other time is when he saved his son yeah. um, and shot the guy, right? right? So Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, baby moved and now Sam's like, oh my God, what do I do? What yeah. do I do? Take uh-huh. it, take it, take it, take it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing about somebody that's, you know, like not a father. A lot of men, a lot of men do have very paternal instincts like that's yes. not that's not something that's just reserved for mothers no and then there's other guys that are like and when they're big guys when they're you know when they're you know and sam's a big guy yeah you give them this tiny delicate breakable little person yeah. and they feel overwhelmed because it's you know this is they're they're wholly responsible for this little tiny life well, and even just know, holding them, he's not even, you know, maybe I don't know. I'm assuming he's not at that point in his life right now, you know, mm-hmm. and maybe when or if he ever decides to have a family It'll be in different. whatever form, you know, maybe that paternal instinct will kick in. It usually because, does. It because usually I've does. seen people where I think, oh, damn, you should never have a kid because uh-huh. you don't know how to be around children. And then yep. they have them and it's like, oh. You're doing an amazing job. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I, I think 100% that's true. I mean, yeah. there's, you know, I think paternal instincts, um, like a lot of maternal instincts, I mean, yeah. I mean, I've seen women who I thought, don't you dare have a baby, and, <laughs> and they go yeah. ahead and have them, and they're wonderful parents. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, the same thing with men, but there are some men who you see that, you know, they don't want to hold that baby because it's, it is an overwhelming feeling and an overwhelming sensation of, you know, I, I don't want to not because I'm not, I don't think they're cute or I don't think that they're wonderful little people. It's, yeah. I'm afraid of hurting it. Yeah. Exactly. I don't know what to do with it. Right. And yeah. I think they, I think some men have just as strong yeah. of an urge to be a parent, that they have just as much desire to hold a child, to create a child as yeah. a woman does. It's yeah, just I, that, again, in our society, it hasn't been something that they have been able to speak about. Yeah. It's something that we have to be more open to saying is okay. You want a child when you're 20 years old? You want to have children? Awesome. Talk yeah. about it. That's all right. Yeah. Fergus on this donkey just cracks me up because <laughs> if anybody has ever seen the outtakes to this, yes, it's he gets hilarious. stuck just inside the corridor there and could not get the damn donkey to move. <laughs> and he's like trying his hardest and yeah. moving. It was hilarious. And I, I love this. I love that Jenny went to Claire to give her a hug because yeah. her and Jamie had a really nice goodbye. I didn't yeah. know. I don't know how it was back then, but growing up Catholic, um, you weren't supposed to hang a rosary around your neck. Right. And she put the rosary around his neck saying that, you know, this has brought Ian back to uh-huh. me many of times. Right. Right. So, yeah. yeah. We're going to go there. 2022, sister. Let's keep it, keep it yep. going. Yes, ma'am. All you people out there, start wearing your masks and stop being assholes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's, we're going to get there. Look at the horse. It's like skipping on top of the hill. <laughs> I miss petting horses. I wouldn't want to ride them anymore. I just, I just want them to be in liberty. I just want them to be comfortable and relaxed. And I just want to run and play and frolic with them. <laughs> <laughs> Look, and they're at the fox's lair. Yep. I don't know why they call him a fox. Like, I think foxes are Because cute. he's, he's this guy's sly. A, this guy's a, a little bit of a... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well and the fox is played by clive russell who is a very 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 popular actor in the uk 
he plays sleaze so well. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like he he just adds a a certain layer to this character. Yeah. Oh, looky, looky who it is. It's Bendy McTwisterson. Yeah. Hey. Hey, Colum. Gary Lewis again. Yep. Twisty McTwisterson, Bendy McBenderson. Well, because I, I watched the series first, I was I was like really surprised to see him there. Right. I never so even trying to get ahead of him. Yeah. Oops. Lost my head. Bones. So, did Colum know about the witch trial? Did he know Claire was mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in trouble? Did he have an alternative plan? Hmm? Did he? Tell me. Um, or I don't know. I think he. Uh, I think he knew, and uh, I think he didn't do anything to stop it. Yeah, I think I he's think so just too. like, you know, meh. I and it surprises me a little bit because of how he feels about Jamie and how he wants Jamie to lead. How knowing how important she was to him that he would let that happen. Right. Yeah. Okay, couldn't he like dress a little bit, tie his hair back? He, he looks like he's been out in the field all day. Probably been raping somebody. You know what? Yeah, there you go. That's it. Mm -hmm. he's, 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 he's a serial raper. Yeah, and he, he's proud of it. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, he has no uh, no qualms about it. No. So and, yeah, uh, he's yeah. got that just raped somebody look. Yeah. Yep. Now, this old fart, um, there's a expression that we say a lot that is uh is because of this guy and it's uh laughing my head off laughing. because when he was beheaded yeah um at 80 years old he uh he was laughing right up until the time that he got his head chopped off you know what why the hell does that not surprise me right and you know if you look at him he must be freaking tall because Sam is 6'2", and mm -hmm. he's taller than Sam. Right. Yeah. He's a big, big man. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Who else do we have? Liri. Liri. Hello, Nell. Love oh, how Nell. I love Nell. She's the sweetest. Yes, she is. Such a great girl. You know, we always say Aww. how men mature so nicely. Mm-hmm. She is one of the few women that I see that looks younger as she's getting older. Yeah, it's true. And you should also stay on your knees. Yeah. Just put those little shoes right on your, your knees and walk remember around that we used way. to do that when I was little. <laughs> so much fun. I or remember I used to put my head backwards over the bed. And we and Draw. And I would talk to you and my chin would become the eyes and the yep. nose. I remember. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's so much fun. We used to do that on our hand too. Yeah, little... exactly. Yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, goodness. Okay, she was not, like, she was really gentle here. I was <laughs> expecting it to come out full board. Yep. It was, like, creeping down on her. I don't hate you, Leary. What? No, I freaking hate you. And <laughs> I hope you burn in hell. And, and I pity you. Oh. Uh, she's we, just we're a not little really, girl. You know what, guys? We're not really like that, though. But this is fake. This movie is fake. Well, And she called it a movie. Some people. Damn and it. she okay, called it a movie. Have another drink. Sorry. Yes. This show... The show. Oh, but she's such a she's a little girl. No, she is not. When you can <laughs> like 
become so <laughs> deceiving that you uh, conjure up this thing where you think uh, you're you got away with burning someone at the stake hell no i would have thrown her ass over that balcony so fast oh yeah why so violent sister i'm not i'm not i'm not mad oh, right. <gasps> I don't think so. I do not condone violence. And we warned you guys at the beginning of these podcasts that inappropriateness is just part of it. And I'm sorry. Yeah. So, But it was fun. Sometimes you just got to talk about, sometimes you just got to let it out and not be judged. (laughs) She's so angry. I would have liked to know more about his son. If his son was really this way. Oh, Simon. Simon yeah. Frazier. Yeah. Who's played by James Paris. Who um, actually Nell and James became very, very close friends during uh, filming this episode. Oh, wow. Because like they're about the same age and, yeah. you know, everybody else is pretty old and fuddy buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> that they were dealing with. So, uh, so yeah, they, uh, during my interview with Nell uh, for the Bootlanders, she, she told me about how close her and James became as friends and they still talk to this day. Yeah. And if you guys haven't uh, seen Cher's blog, she has actually done some crazy good uh, blogs and interviews uh, with a whole bunch of cast members from Outlander. And just the way she questions and the questions that she asks, it's freaking awesome. It's not like your normal, you know, TMZ interview, whatever thing. It's, it's really cool. And you get to know more about um, the actors. Where, where can people find your blog, Cher? Uh, abootlanders.com. A-B-O-O-T-L-A-N-D-E-R-S.com. Yeah, you got to check it out, guys. There's there's a crap ton in there. There's lots of interviews. Oh, I've got cast interviews. I've got a couple, um, you know, uh, people related to the production as well. Um, and also some fan accounts uh, that are really, mm-hmm. really popular with, uh, with Outlander fans. Um, because, you know, they are, you know beating heart of the uh, social media world of keeping yeah. outlander you know um, in front of everybody so a lot of the time they're just an account we forget that there's faces behind them so i want everybody to know some of those faces and uh and then i also do um do i they're not recaps of the episodes um every episode um i do a kind of like a breakdown of different things that I found about them uh, yeah. that aren't quite aren't quite what everybody else might have thought about. Um, I dig a little bit deeper and uh, go somewhere else. So, if you're interested in taking a look at that, just go through the archives and and find them. Yep, yeah, it's pretty cool. Mm. I like this part where he tries to really stand up to his father mm-hmm. just for leary sake but he yeah. knows love it knows why he's doing it mm-hmm. and so he just wants to embarrass him even more yeah. and then addresses leary to go fetch him some milk yeah you know it's such a turd uh-huh. he needed <laughs> drink milk a long time ago dude yeah mm. he's such a like prick yeah he like, you know most smoked like the chairs though they almost look like riveted large riveted leather chairs oh yeah and you know what women are just so accustomed to that back then you know that just makes me sick and treated like trash yeah exactly still women that are accustomed to being treated like trash yeah um so yeah you were saying he must be really tall Six yeah. foot six. Ooh, he, he just, even when he walked away from mm-hmm. Jamie and they had more of the aerial view, I'm like, yeah. dang, he's got like a long body, long <laughs> arms, long legs. Just everything is long. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's crazy yep. tall. Well, stairs, you know, 
lot of stairs back then. They had mm. no escalators, no elevators. <laughs> so if you lived in a big castle, you were going to hump it up the stairs. Mm -hmm. Yippers. Well, and it's a good thing Levitt because is a real super superstitious fucker. Yep. It's going to come really to their bad. benefit later. Oh, gosh. It has to. This fireplace, I tell you, I can't even count how many different rooms it's been in uh -huh. in the series, right? But it's but always do, redressed. Yes. It, mm -hmm. Well, and the room as well, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. they do such an amazing job. Like, yeah. damn, they've got some talent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure will miss John Gary Steele. It makes me sad that, you know... He's moved on and well, on to new I've, adventures. That's why I've attached myself to his husband. Yeah. In, you know, a weird way. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's it's on social nice. media and it's, you know, it's just, you know, we, like I'll send little messages back and forth and, you know, and, but he's his husband. So yeah, I'm like, so how's he doing? How's Gary doing? <laughs> uh, I hate that they didn't even give her a brush. You know, like, did he smack her around that, that much that her Mastery. hair is just, mm -hmm. yeah, she, her hair is just really messy. Yeah. This is Mastery or Masery yeah. or whatever you want to call her. Ma 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 her name is Maureen Beatty and she Maisie. looks like a witch. She does though, doesn't she? <laughs> Lord it love it, see ya. Yeah, and she is a seer, so she sees stuff. Yeah, um, I think that's where Claire first got the first look at, oh, he mm -hmm. has a seer. Interesting, right? That means that means he believes shit. And, but see, when he hears something that he doesn't want to hear, yeah, she gets her ass kicked. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's not how it's supposed to work, Dink. Like, no. if you get a seer, it's because they're going to tell you what's happening, not yeah. just what you want to know. Like, not what you want to hear or say. Yeah. And this this is just a game for him at this point. You know, mm -hmm. like, he's just sidetracking the whole conversation about, you know, his whore grandmother yeah. and then how mm -hmm. he wants to screw his wife and, yeah. you know, how everybody's going to rape her if he leaves her. Like, mm -hmm. he's just a... How does he even run, you yeah. know? He's an uh, old an pig. And, yeah. Exactly. Uh-huh. And I'm see, surprised he made it till 80. Like, right? honest to God. <laughs> it's true. Uh, but see, because, that's, what, that's what power and yeah. money will get you. And it shows you, even back then, it happened. And it still works to this day. You got power and money, and you can get away with whatever the fuck you want to. Exactly. The only, you know, it, I wonder... I don't know if he ever comes back in the books because I'm only, you know, mid fiery cross mm -hmm. because they portray him as being sick here, you know, like that there's something wrong, you know, cause he's got cough. He coughs a lot and things like that. Maybe he's just got some kind of venereal disease oh, that you he'll can carry for the rest of his life. You guarantee, <laughs> you guarantee he's got a little bit of everything and see, it's also got uh well, I loved it because in the books, he had this, uh, he had wooden teeth, right? Oh, yummy. And well, yeah. And <laughs> Jamie threw them into the fire <laughs> after their conversation. That part. Oh my God. That's oh, yeah. hilarious. Oh yeah. Yeah. It was, it was funny as hell. Yeah. What they but were I done is that he just took his teeth and threw them into the fire. It was so funny. Oh my um, gosh. That'd be hilarious. Yeah. It was. See, uh, I think once I get reading the books, I'm going to have to go back and reread because it's mm -hmm. just like the first time I watched the series. Yep. You know, I got you to get me through it as fast as we possibly could. Yeah. But it was only on my third time rewatching it mm -hmm. that I really started to get certain things. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And like I said, the same thing happens in the books. And it's not just because you miss stuff. Yeah. It's because you read stuff and you don't realize how important that thing was that you read until mm -hmm. the third book comes out or until the fourth book comes out or until even the sixth book. Because something that you read in the sixth book will drop something from the second book into yeah. into place making sense. So, Well, and I'm weird. trying to get 
through this book so I can get to the next one. You know what I mean? So yeah. it was the same, the same kind of thought process when I was watching the show. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that sounded like vaginal discharge. The show. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I was being self-conscious not to say movie. <laughs> the show. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Weird. Uh, Wife's a rare woman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let me tell you how and they're rare. Still calling her La Dame Blanche. Like, can we mm-hmm. cut this crap out already? <laughs> no, he's keeping oh, her God. safe. Yeah, exactly. He's keeping her safe. Best way to do it. But look at his face. He's like, what? What did you say? Is this true? Mm hmm. And look at how much taller he is than Jamie. Yeah. And he's hunched over. Yeah. They get, had to give him a, I think it was good to pick a tall actor. You know, Colm is shorter and he has this mm-hmm. commanding presence about him. Yeah. But I think with Jamie being tall, I think it was important that they had a tall person for his grandfather. So, grandsire. Yeah. But shows that he's not intimidated by it. Exactly. Right? And see, that would that was the... the um, uh, I think the nod to throwing the teeth in the fire. Yeah. Yeah. Take care of the next few days. She doesn't seem too, too worried. So. Hey, what are you doing? I'm not doing nothing. Liar, I heard your phone. No, no I, so, yeah, that phone was not turned on silent. I apologize. I had to turn it on silent. <laughs> I'm normally uh, better than that. Yeah, sure. You're going to get Simon to stand up to his father. Like, that's going to do any good. His father has zero respect for him. It's like having a kitten stand up to a pit bull. Yeah, like- exactly. <laughs> But I have seen some pretty mean kittens and some really sweetie pit bulls. Oh, so, so, so have I. So have I. Absolutely. Like, I have to stop really watching videos I'm... of rescue dogs and rescue kittens because it's just making a mess out of me. <laughs> and I have uh, a rescue dog. so uh, One of my favorite dogs in the world is a pit bull. Yeah, Her name so cool. is Lily, and she's just the sweetest pit bull I've, I've lost. She's one of the sweetest dogs, period. Yeah. It doesn't matter what she, what she is. Stop she has two, to sure. And she had two kitty friends that were total dicks. Like, yeah. dicks, and they are dicks. Yeah. I don't know why she's playing this card. I, I don't understand why she's faking her way through this. Because that's what she's doing. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I don't know why she's, why she's trying, like why she just wouldn't ignore them and leave it as is. You know what I mean? Cause she doesn't yeah. really want their forgiveness because she still loves Jamie. She wants Jamie's forgiveness. Yeah. That's, but only way to get Jamie's forgiveness is to play along with Claire. Yeah. And the only re- and see people were really upset that they had done this in the first place, but they had to do this because Earlier in the series, yeah, they changed the from the books that Jamie did know that Leary was the one that sent Claire to Gellis's house. Right, in the books. Jamie did not know that. Oh, he didn't. No. So in the books, he didn't know that. So that's why he ended up marrying her later. Right? Because he didn't have that bit of information. Right. Now, in the show, they did give him that bit of information because in a show it's so condensed that people would wonder, especially people that hadn't read the books, would wonder, why in the hell wouldn't Claire tell him that? Yeah. That seems like a pretty big fucking deal not to tell him. So they had him know that Leary had done that. Right. Well, that makes sense to me, knowing that the the relationship that Jamie mm-hmm. and Claire have, they tell each other everything. Right. You know, just like uh, he told her all about his son and that John mm-hmm. Gray was surprised about that. Right. So 
it makes sense from the show point of view right. that she would have told him. Right. So in order for them mm. to give reason for later on Jamie marrying her, mm -hmm. he would have had to do what? Yeah. Forgive her. So yeah. they had to make a point somewhere in between the you know the jamie finding out that he tried to kill her, she tried to kill his wife yeah the jamie marrying mm -hmm. her they had to make something happen in the middle of that yeah. to make him forgive her and then in the show though it never clearly states that he forgave her even when uh claire's gone and he's at lollybrock and he's dancing with the girls mm -hmm. It never, ever explains that he forgave her. Well, in this episode, they tried to make it seem like that's what he had done. But and he episode, came across as, I'm just saying thank you because my wife said to say thank you. Mm -hmm. But yeah. it was still, it was still, that was what the writers were trying to yeah. make or portray had happened was it wasn't a deep down forgiveness but it was no. a point where it was okay this is this is the step that they needed to make in yeah. order to bridge that gap yeah exactly now Colum doesn't like this but no Jamie's like, you know what? I'm on the paper. I can't, I can't stop this from happening and I will make sure that, you know. Yeah. I, for me, I can't even believe that he even thought for a second that he would sign Lolly Brock over right. to his grandfather. Mm -hmm. Like I'm knowing what the end result was going to be. Yeah. And everything he has done to try and save his people there that he would even think for a second uh -huh. to sign it over. And he is actually contemplating it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like, yeah. thank goodness Claire's kind of on the little bit of the crazy, deceitful side and, right. and comes up with what she does, right? Yeah. So got to give her credit where credit's due on this one. Yeah, always, always. Yeah. He, he does such a good job of looking so pitiful, doesn't uh -huh. he? Uh-huh, and forlorn. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and he I is... love Leary with her hair down, though. Mm-hmm. And he is such a good looking guy without the, you know, like without the long scraggly hair. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, uh, but yeah. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Well, I have no choice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she's just, you know, I love how she just kind of like, okay, what we doing here? yeah and then he like starts boring her with poetry and, oh, you know, and he's she's trying to be so sweet mm -hmm. yeah it's so romantic and and you know and like i think it's like leary just doesn't really know what to do with him like yeah right? i like poetry but i'm not used to a man doing this this isn't what men really do right and take the lead then right. it's like the women just follow or do mm -hmm. as they're told and yeah here she is she's having to act uh -huh. with someone that can't carry a conversation yeah uh-huh she's let's yeah, sit she's on the just... tree i've never had i can honestly say i've never had anybody say that to to me come come sit on the tree you want to sit on a tree with me i have pictures of me sitting in the tree Past well, yet. yes, I remember that day like nobody's business. I was, I, that is the day I realized that I was afraid of heights. And our dad w kept trying to push me up there and I was screaming and crying and getting vertigo. And I, yeah, I just couldn't. And he made me feel so bad for not sitting up there with you and taking a picture. <laughs> oh, not that time. Well, oh, are you talking about drunk you in a tree? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I was that was not when she was little in a tree yeah no i wasn't i wasn't three then <laughs> no no uh yeah i was drunk in a tree passed out cold yep i was in there for a while i remember that tree i remember also was it andrew in the backyard oh andrew was in it? his yard yes that fell over the sidewall yeah did a yeah. face plant. I was 
picking grass out of his head. <laughs> yep. I remember mm-hmm. that picture. Yeah. Oh, the crazy things you do when you're young. But uh, I'm sure there's a lot of older people out there that have still the same experiences, right? I'm just I'm just really glad that I grew up in a time without social media. Yes. Because mm-mm, mm, I think all of us older I people are not. very happy. Yeah, I I did because Andrew, I know for a fact that you know there would have been a lot of stupid shit. <laughs> on the internet yeah. with him and oh yeah mm-hmm. i would have been sending pictures of my boobs to everybody yeah so yeah it's a it's a good thing that i i grew up in the in the decades that i did yeah Just I hear saying. i'm not i'm not one of those people that pretends any different i never would have done that if i had if i yeah. had it mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. yeah no yeah. don't lie to yourself <laughs> Doesn't she have wonderful eyes? They are what are so piercing. Right? So piercing. Like yeah. just, they look violet. They do. And they're so wide. Mm-hmm. They're so bright. They're, and like, so they're a little extra far apart. Yeah. Right. And they are a little extra wide. Yeah. And they, yeah. So it's just. I told my friend Lisa that she she reminded me of her, and she was oh. like, "Hey, wh- uh, did she smack you? <laughs> yeah, virtual smack you even? <laughs> no, we were watching. Well together. done, Lisa. Oh, well done, Lisa. I had a smack but it was, too. But it wasn't it wasn't that she looked like her there. Yes. Like it's just that there are certain things that reminded me of her, uh, like you know, the kill me in my sleep thing. Yeah, yeah. I uh, love this. Can you peek down my dress? <laughs> oh good god uh, <sighs> i love that whole sentence uh, and how well she pulled it off right yeah. she's she's a great well she's a great actress i just yeah, she, you know, she just pulled that she pulled mm-hmm. off that sentence like yeah oh my god like how did they think of saying a line like that like yeah i'm in the wrong century i want to talk fancy too oh god it's hilarious you can talk fancy if you want to i think it fancy would just come out who thee thou thine mm. we I say I say we a lot when I'm saying small, and I get yeah. caught, caught up saying it. And, well, I do it. It's yeah. it's like a, a normal thing now. Mm-hmm. I remember on um, the site someone had asked what your favorite um, um, words are out of Outlander, and there were so many: we, Baron, mm-hmm. uh-huh. you know, Sassanac, you know, like all of those. Yeah. It's pretty. Uh-huh. So I'd be curious, wait, what, what, what is your favorite word? Oh, God. Bob egg. <laughs> <laughs> or bell end. <laughs> Me, it's we. I use we all the time. I don't use little anymore. I use we. I, yeah. I just, I, I just use it. And I love that they call babies barons. Mm-hmm. We baron. We baron. And see, I say some, like, it'll slip into conversation every now and then. And if I'm talking, like, with eight, my oldest son, he'll be like, we are not in Outlander, mother. Laddie. Yeah. Uh-huh. Hush. Uh-huh. Yes. Shut your hole. as something else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, I don't, I don't like this part. Oh, I like the part with, with Claire. I just don't mm-hmm. like the fact that Jamie's sitting there ready to sign uh-huh. Lolly Brock over to right. an evil right. demon liar. Mm-hmm. Yep. That, yeah. Yep. A piece of foreskin. Yeah, exactly. Dirty, cheesy stuff. Sorry, Something people. That hasn't I know. Been that washed. Was, that's, that, we, we're giving you visuals that you, know, you don't need, but you sometimes just have to have because that's hey, how we think about this guy. But you have to look at, even though we're a podcast, you can't see us. So it's kind of like reading a book that's talking to you Mm -hmm. in a way. (laughs) So it's really... (laughs) Okay, maybe not really. Like an audio book? (laughs) It's like... Like an audio book, but we add a lot more fun than the yeah. actual book. So we, we yes. give you some serious visuals that you can almost taste. And if there's 
if the, but not that taste. Ooh, when we're talking about old cheese and wrinkly wieners, no, you don't want to uh, taste that. You just did. Oh, no, <laughs> you she gagged. By the way, and yeah, now she- my belly feels like <laughs> eggs. <laughs> You know what that feels like? Eggs. It's like puke time. <gasps> that was one dang heavy cup. It didn't even bounce. I love how Katrina or Claire acts it looks so, so bad. Fake. Right? This right? is the only time she'll ever act bad. Right? This is bad acting by Claire. Uh, <laughs> I have a vision. <laughs> Okay, I have to go back. I have to go back to the whole wiener thing because my stomach is so upset. And do you know why my stomach feels like eggs? Because I just drank a glass of eggnog. Oh, jeez. And then we're talking about smelly oh, cheese Okay, you can... No more. Okay, done. All right. Keep on talking about it. And it's just keeping... Get, get, <laughs> and Jamie just jumps right into this whole make-believe scenario, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Look at her looking up like she's so bad. And she's he's not so even bad. doing a good job. I know. <laughs> I both. think they, they told them, okay, guys, pretend that you don't know how to act and go right? through this scene. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's like, Jesus Christ, you two. Yeah. <laughs> you. Oh. oh, my God. It's hilarious. I just, it was one of my favorite and things. Look at Colin. Oh, for. For yeah. sake. <laughs> what a bunch of wieners. You guys are buying this shit. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's- and I, I didn't like this part where he said, you know, who's the executioner? I don't know. <laughs> I can't see. It's cool. Yeah, I yeah. don't like that part. Uh, but I tell you, it's. I can't remember. Uh, it's so friggin funny <laughs> oh <it's- laughs> i tell you i tell you see this is oh my god that's so hilarious i i loved i loved it because yeah. and and so many people were like oh my gosh did cat and did cat and sam forget how to act all of a sudden during-? and it was like uh, yeah that was the, the point. whole point of it yeah was exactly that- they were acting yeah. during this scene. Like Jamie and Claire were acting. Yeah, exactly. And they aren't actors. actors. No. <laughs> and people were not able to wrap their heads around it. Like they weren't able to grasp the concept. It was like inception that their brains were farting. Like they just could not... <laughs> Like they could not grab on to. Well, hopefully this gives them a little bit more understanding. Behind yeah, let's it hope as they. Well. Let's hope they. You know, anybody out there that was like, oh, that's why. Exactly. Yeah, and good why. for young Simon for standing up to his father. Mm-hmm. You know. Yep. And he came up with a pretty good speech right off the cuff. I thought. Yeah. So inside, he's pretty good you know i think having leary there is maybe brought out a little something that he didn't know was there right Mm -hmm. yeah unfortunately didn't turn his way this time but he did a good job Mm -hmm. yeah he's a well he's a creative poet but at the same time he wants to have you know approval and yeah exactly and he also knows he has to be a man and, you know, or whatever they think of uh, is a man. Yeah, exactly. Era. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. All that toxic masculinity shite. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you here know, she comes just a walking down the street. Singing do a diddy diddy dum diddy do. I yeah. got your laundry and I'm carrying it. Sing and do me, Jamie, do me, Jamie, do you do? That's <laughs> weird. I can't help it. But he was just right there and it I was know. like my inspiration. <laughs> oh, hello, Bendy. And his poor legs look like they're way wider than they were before. Maybe he's got a cramp. Yeah. 
Maybe the but mud he, made them slide open. <laughs> he was standing there with them closer together, and as time yeah. just went slide. And no that matter what, Jamie still has that respect for his uncle, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The uppers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's like go ahead you yep. try to make me feel bad but you're not the boss of me nope <laughs> exactly <laughs> you can still order me around a little bit you i'll still help you old fart mm -hmm. and <sighs> you know claire damn it she should have just left you. it no, see, this is this is the setup, though. This is what yeah. they needed to do that progression t for later on. Yeah, and and you know what, people were upset, but I totally get it. Yeah, I do too. Well, she had even said, you know, you help me, and I'll help you with Jamie. She did help, yeah. not with the right end result, but she still yeah. did. Right, she did what was asked of her, just because it didn't work out. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah 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 see i like when he approached her and says i was said to say thank you then i can why but thank you <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. rain rain yeah Ugh. See? There. Yeah, whatever. Bye bye. <laughs> but that was the thing. Yeah. She had to but throw that little nugget in. Yeah, my stomach but, feels like egg again. But that's but that's Blech. just the little things that, you know, they have to throw in if yeah. they need to start making those reparations, right? For yeah. for the little deviations in the storyline. And yeah. that's why when they make the deviation in the storyline in the first place, and the world collapses. <laughs> the I know, right? Oh my gosh! It, right, and like, oh my god, that's part of the storyline. Down way, they can't do this. They can't do this. Well, they make those little reparations, and then exactly. that way they can do it. And sometimes they won't make those reparations, and they won't do the thing that you're expecting them to do. Yeah, because exactly. The show is the show, is the book is the book. So you yeah. have to kind of, you know, and that's kind of exciting in a way. Oh, look it's, who's there. You know what? I think there would be nothing more boring than having it be exactly page by page in the book. Right. Because you've already seen it in your head and you know what? Yes. You're just going to find something else to criticize. Like, oh, that's not the right color horse. Oh, is that the yep. same plate that they had in the and book? That you know has I mean? been done. Believe okay. me, the horses it's, have been done. They have, com they have complained about the horses. They have complained about the eye and color. I they get, I get that everything. people are so passionate about the books and I know Diana yeah. is is very thankful for the commitment mm -hmm. yeah. but i think even her herself would agree mm -hmm. that you know what hey they're too different they're yeah. using my books as a guide you yeah. know mm -hmm. and remember she is a part of this yeah. if she truly believes that something cannot be omitted mm -hmm. they normally turn around talk about and say hey you know what you're right yeah so, so and she says she's only had to do that a couple times mm-hmm and here they come. So he's, they are getting some men, but to the point where, okay, you're getting some men, but I'm not going to be on the paper yeah. per se. So Can still he, save still the plays, he still plays both sides, but he still goes down because he does get beheaded. Well, and most right of after. Most of these guys, anyway, end up turning back home halfway through the journey. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, definitely not the best men. That's for sure. No. Well, when you're when your own leader is a turncoat, you know. Yeah, exactly. Or a chicken shit, whichever way you want to put it. Yeah, either or. It's a good pick. 
Yeah. The go. life these poor Highlanders lived, you know, and especially, you know, for everything that they're going to go through. It's mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah. It's over. That's oh my it, gosh. Yeah. Oh, it's over. Well, okay. I guess that's, that's the end of that. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm actually happy this episode is over because I just can't stand love it at all. Mm -hmm. He just drives me bonkers. Yeah. He's a bit of a pill. Bit of a pill. <laughs> Hysterical! Well, you know, we all have different ways of getting our siblings' attention. And I, re I also remember having the same issues. So <laughs> tell, tell us about this story, Cher. Oh, this is a good one. My sister is eight years younger than me. We love each other dearly and never, ever fight, which I'd say is probably due to the age gap. As the big sister, I've always been there for her and helped her out a lot. And she's a very loving, sweet, and affectionate human. The only time our friendship was really tested when I was a teenager with friends over and wanting to feel like a grown-up. And she was about seven and always wanting to join in with the big girls. I would always refuse and tell her to leave me alone and she'd sob. Mom would tell her that I need to have some alone time with my friends. And one day she'd had enough and she wrote a note and slipped it under my bedroom door and it said, let me in your room, bum sucker. <laughs> How can I say no to that? I love her. And that's from Aromatic Hydrocarbons on Reddit. <laughs> that's freaking awesome note. <laughs> I, mean, I wish boom, bum, <laughs> I wish I wish that would have worked for me. I used to beg our older oh. sister, you know, to be part of her Archie fan club. <laughs> and she just never would let me in the room with her her friends. They had Archie they had friends. pins and everything. She had so many friends. Did she? And she did that were part of this Archie archie fan club and never and mom even has a picture of me she took a picture of me standing at the stairs moping oh my god <laughs> she's like phyllis phyllis come to the top of the stairs and i was all sad and i moped out and she took a picture <laughs> you weren't allowed in the archie fan club now for all the um listeners that are not 80 years old what's the archie fan club <laughs> freaking 80 years old <laughs> nothing not that there's anything wrong with being 80 but not quite there yet let me earn my years still you old bag <laughs> what's who's archie what's archie archie Oops. is a comic book oh right it's that oh oh riverdale so for anybody that really yes. wants to know this is what riverdale came from okay yes. so from the olden times it's the the original the og of yep. riverdale yeah exactly so tell us about your stories you know what kind of things did you and your sister share when you were growing up you know what are some of your or funny not, stories not share. or not share <laughs> uh go to our website sissies.ca uh just check out our link to our stories or you can just email us at sisters at sissies.ca or check us out on uh facebook instagram or even twitter